Good morning, day two. So I woke up this morning and my whole body was seized. I realized that this is probably the moment where a 27 year old body doesn't respond quite the same as a 23 year old body. To paraphrase a quote from P.S. I Love You, my mind had all these great plans of walking and hiking for like three solid days uh, and it turns out I can hardly handle 15 to 20 kilometers of walking. But I really thought this morning when I woke up that I was not going to be able to go and do anything today. But um, I've been up, I've had breakfast and I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm going to be able to go and do activities today. But there was a moment there where I thought, oh my god, I just want to go back to bed. This is really sore. So the first night in the B&B was great. Uh, there was a whole lot of Irish speaking people in the breakfast room this morning, which was really cool. Even though I could only understand August. Uh, Cop ante Argus Ponya. Yeah, so it's a little bit cloudy. It's uh, overcast but bright today. So I'm feeling fairly confident that uh, my drive to Slave League Cliffs will be quite nice and uh, we'll reconvene later on today and see how today goes. I hope everybody else is having a good morning um, and let's hit the road. Just want to show you the B&B &B sign. I guess the font pack didn't have an ampersand. Uh, so it's B7B, Shark Campbell. I've been driving for about an hour now on the way to Sleeve Lee Cliffs and I've really been putting the car through its paces. We've just made it up the top of this huge gully and there's once again not a person in sight. A tiny tiny Irish traffic jam. Two sheep. Two sheep this time in the way. In fact the sheep around here have been giving me some very evil looks like who are you? What are you doing here? But it's a lovely little peaceful picnic spot and the sun's come out so we'll have to keep on driving now. So day two hasn't been working out very well for me. I went into the little shop uh, just here at Silver Strand and I was looking for an ice cream because I thought hot day ice cream might be nice. But then once I saw their sort of mediocre selection, I reassessed my options and I thought, let's go to the other end of the scale and fight heat with heat. And I got a hot chocolate. But if there's any chocolate in this, I'll honestly be damned. So disappointments all around at Silver Strand. Now at Sleeve League, another very nice spot on the Donegal road trip past a little boy, two little boys looking for a trash can. And they, there was none to be found. Apparently there's no trash cans up at Sleeve League. And the littlest boy said, oh, well, can't we just put it in the Atlantic Ocean? And his brother says to him, well, no, because if everybody did that, there wouldn't be any space for the water. So <laughs> we've got some excellent environmentalists young budding environmentalists up at Sleep League today and now I'm gonna walk back down to the car park maybe get an ice cream mm -mm. Yum. Mm -mm -mm. it's quite a different day from yesterday not not as sunny but still really sunny not as windy there's no northerly breezes coming to chill us but it's really hazy so it's not that good for photos I guess it's six of one six of the other Oh, at least I got an ice cream. Another day, a little bit more selfie footage. I'm a little bit unmade up this morning because uh, other than filming this little outro, I'm not really gonna do any other stops on the way back to Belfast. It's about up past nine now in the morning on Tuesday and I'm heading back from Guidor and Bunbeg to Belfast along the same road that I came along. Yesterday, I, after had, having my ice cream, I just went to Lidl and drove all the way back to Bunbeg. It was quite a long drive. It took a couple of hours and I was so tired. I 
it's really tired from all this exercise that I've been doing. So I just grabbed some snacks at Lidl and I got some petrol and then I went home and I went to bed. Well, went back to the B&B and went to bed. So there really wasn't much to see. Uh, the B&B I stayed in had really great hospitality, fabulous bacon. Um, and hopefully I'll get back there again sometime. I really didn't get to scrape the surface hardly of Donegal it seems. But some of us have to go back to work tomorrow. So we're heading back now. I'm really sad. But it does go to show that you really need to take your time around Ireland. Here comes another car. Yay. So rude. How rude. So that's been the trip. And it's been lots of fun. And uh, would, would do again. So... No, I'm going back to Belfast. I'm going to put on my Harry Potter audiobooks. And we'll see you when we get back. Bye, Wookiees. Yeah, Lego Man. Woo.